Okay, what's up everyone? This is um A6 Gene. Uh yeah. <coughs> Sorry I sound like crap. Uh pollen is out and it is raping your nostrils, so hide your nose, hide your mouth, because they're raping everybody out here. Um anyway, uh yeah. So if you've been following me on Twitter, you probably know that I've been doing working on a lot of crap and Specifically, I'm learning Unity and C Sharp right now, and I can get uh, prepared for a big project that I'm trying not to say much about, but I'm really excited for, so I've been kind of dropping hints here and there, hither and thither. <coughs> so, been doing a lot of C Sharp tutorials and all that good stuff, but I decided to test myself to make a Mastermind game. If you don't know what Mastermind is, it is pretty much... A game where you have to guess a sequence of colors and whatnot. I thought that'd be easy enough for me to reproduce in game form in Unity. And I did exactly that. Yay! So I'm going to show you that because I'm not quite ready to release it and have it played yet. Because I want there to be music and all the instructions and blah blah blah. But yeah, pretty much you have. Well, I hope you guys can see my mouse. I don't know if I turned that setting on, but uh, here up at top you have the black partition blocking the actual sequence of colors. What's uh, going on uh, as far as the code is concerned? Um, when you start the game, it uh, randomizes a sequence of four blocks between each. There's four colors and four blocks, and it makes a sequence using those four blocks behind this little partition. Your job is to use the blocks at the bottom to guess the sequence at the top. That's uh, how Mastermind works. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the way I've set it for you to change the color. Shut up, phone. Uh, the way I set it for you to change the colors is to use the A, S, D, and F key. Uh, I wanted to have it where you clicked on the blocks instead, but I didn't feel like learning how to do that at the time, so I just wanted to do this real quick, test some, test some code out, try some new shit, and learning how to click, get shit to click with the mouse wasn't some new shit I wanted to learn. So, yeah, use the keyboards, the A, S, D, and F key. And I think this is an old version that I did a build on. So I think for this build, you press the insert key to check your answer, but in the build that I will probably release, um, it's the G key in the, you know, my blah, blah, blah. What I have right now, I just haven't done a build for that. So you change the colors, blah, blah, blah. And then in this version, insert. Now, anything that comes up with a black cube, means they're wrong. So it means I got the second and fourth one right and the first and third are wrong. So I will try to guess those again. Insert. Bam! When you guess it right, the black partition goes away to show you that you have um, completed the game. Blah blah blah. And uh, in the, the build I will release, I'll probably have it where you know, stay here to let you know that you won. You can see the sequence. Uh, probably play some music or whatnot. And it'll just reload back into itself, uh, or have, or where you press a button for it to reload back into itself. And you can play again while having to exit out and start it up again. But uh, I might try to change the background. Uh, some music in here. Uh, sometime later, I might add it where you can click on the blocks to change the colors instead. Um, and I don't know how difficult it would be for me to do so, but I'd like to have it where when you guess a sequence and you hit insert, if you're wrong, it's le it lets you know the the old sequence you used. It'll just create a new set of blocks for you to guess on, and therefore you'll already be able to see which, because right now they just turn black, and you might not exactly remember what colors you all use, and it'll keep people from, you know, because once it's black, it's, the way I wrote the code, it starts, 
it changes the colors ba when you hit the keys as far as the code is concerned when you hit the keys it changes a number variable and I have a code that says when it's this number change the texture of the block to this color and then when you hit the check button then it's gonna check to see if the numbers for the bottom blocks matches the one for the top blocks and if it doesn't then whichever one doesn't match up change them change the number variable to five the to five which will change them to black texture which means you have that color wrong but I'd like to have some kind of way where it just keeps the old it still shows you which one you have wrong but instead of turning black it just moves up or something so you can see the last uh, the last uh, what am I trying to say the last sequence you tried to input in but yeah that's pretty much the game it's boring but it's quick and I finished it so yeah that's it uh, I have lots of work this weekend I have work this weekend so don't know when I'll be able to get back to this uh, probably Sunday but I will be working on that big project I mentioned Sunday with a couple of my friends uh, and homies and whatnot so yeah hopefully in the near future like within the month I'll have pictures of characters from the big project and the logo but first of all I need to get a name for this project because I do not like my prototype name well yeah that's pretty much it and uh, so yeah uh, follow me on Twitter at a6gene uh, I have a Facebook page, A6 Inc. Uh, Inc. is spelled with an X instead of a C because I am weird like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I might do Luden there in April, which is coming up. Uh, like I said, I'm, I would like to use Unity because I'm so sick and tired of Stencil. Uh, that's what I was using. I didn't like it too much. And then they did that stupid update that I think was stupid and how I hate it even more. And uh, now I won't even install my computer even if I wanted to use it. I was actually trying to do the new ground stencil competition. Some of you guys heard me talk about. Was unable to finish that for a variety of reasons. Uh, still need to do a post mortem on that because I did learn a lot. But uh, ugh. but yeah, that's I don't know. I'm just rambling now. I don't know. I'm bad at making videos. But yeah, so I'm just going to end this video and get you, stop wasting people's time and guys go back to your life. I am probably going to go play some Arkham City. That shit is live as fuck. If you have PlayStation Plus, go get it. If you don't, go spend money because you should. But yeah, that's it. Just wanted to show the game off because I didn't want to release it like that because it's crap. And um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Go follow me on A6 Inc. and go like my Facebook status and more shit will come.